L-94 Aeon Chain Gun L-94 Aeon is the British Ministry of Defense designation for the long-barreled version of the Hughes EX-34-7 62mm chain gun, which is fitted to several British Army armored fighting vehicles, including the Challenger II and the Warrior. A second version with a shorter barrel, designated L-95 Aeon, was also procured in small numbers. The weapon was produced by Heckler and Cock in the UK. Design The EX-34 was specifically designed for use as a coaxial weapon in armored vehicles and has a number of features that make it suitable for this role. The gun is externally powered, meaning that misfires do not need to be manually cleared, instead the rounds are simply ejected. All spent cases are ejected forwards out of the turret. This prevents any buildup of spent shell cases causing stoppages. Additionally, all gas generated by firing is vented through the barrel and ejection tube. The weapon is cooled by a venturi system, which draws cool air down the jacket and acts as a fume extractor. The weapon was originally intended as a replacement for the coaxial weapon in the American M60 tank. The weapon was evaluated by both the U.S. Army and the U.S. Naval Weapons Center, who reported that the performance of the weapon was outstanding during all phases of testing. However, neither chose to adopt the weapon. During testing conducted by Hughes, the weapon proved extremely reliable, firing two 10,000-round bursts lasting 20 minutes at 500 rounds per minute. It has a reported rounds between failure rate of approximately 50,000 rounds. Problems Problems with the electrical systems in the Warrior IFB have caused the weapon to fire without warning several times, resulting in the Army issuing a safety notice. In at least one incident, this has resulted in injury to a British soldier and in others' injuries to civilians, the Modi denied the problem initially. Additionally, the Challenger II mounting of the weapon cannot be accurately aimed using the main sight below a minimum range of 200 meters, which has led to at least one death from friendly fire.